Hi, this is Miss D at D Special Things. I just wanted to share with you some more sweet treats. And this time I actually used, remember these corks that we purchased from Michael's that was a little or nothing? I know I bought a few bags of them. I just don't know where I put the rest of them. But I did come across, they came in a bag like this. Um, I think they were called raw or something like that. But anyway, I actually used these. They are so cute. And when I first made them, I just put the this Mod Podge stuff on it. The, col the collage clay. I put that on there. Matter of fact, I didn't use the pink one. But if you're watching my videos... There's going to be another giveaway and I'll do the I'll do the giveaway tomorrow. Um, what I'm going to do is when Steven come, I'll have him take me to the store and get some more sweet treats. I need some more anyway. And um, some more of this collage clay. I don't know which one I'll find. Hopefully I'll find both of them, but I'll put one of them in the giveaway. I'll put some of these corks in the giveaway and excuse my fingers because I've been crafting this morning. I'll actually put some of the bottle caps in the giveaway and um, I will probably, I'll see if I have extras of these. I use the scribbles for my drizzles. I'll have to show you guys. I use the brown and I use the hot chocolate can you see that yes so I'll put some of that in my giveaway and you can make these aren't they cute yummy good yeah so I'll put those in there but I want to show you all of them <laughs> these are just really cute all of the ones that I made okay and there's another one there is another one and these are still wet right now and here's the first one I did I think I'm gonna take that off and redo it because I want to put it looks better with the distress ink around the edges and yeah this one I didn't do either so I'll probably I don't know if I wait for it to dry and then put the distress ink around it but yeah I actually used the um, it's a charm and all you have to do is put a jump ring in there if you want or put a chain through it I use the eye screws um, for those but yeah so that's what I'm going to do I might even include embellishments yeah do a little embellishment box I'll tell you exactly when I decide what I'm going to do I'll show you exactly what my giveaway is I'm going to go to the store either today or tomorrow to find I need to go today because being that I already showed this collage clay everybody will probably run and get it so to make sure they have it I'm going to say I'm going to put this in the giveaway and some of the scribbles because I think I have a couple of each one of these so maybe I could put the hot chocolate in there I'll put some of the corks some of the bottle screws and a couple of packages of the sweet treats if I could find more okay all right so yeah this is these are so cute but I think I did not say what I said yesterday when I showed you all the sweet treats I put the hole in here and then I put the collage clay in there but I forgot to put the jump rings in well it takes about Mm. it takes anywhere from one to five days for this collage clay to harden I was able to get the jump rings in jump rings are super easy to put in here you know so I don't have a problem using jump rings so I just put them in there after the fact so you're still able to because I already had the hole in it and though if you could see that hole right there though the hole is there I'll show you guys it's still real easy it's still super easy to just take the jump ring I don't have problems with using jump rings or uh, jump rings or the eye screws yeah it's super easy to just take it and as you can see I actually added that jump ring with no problem okay 
so there is a sweet treat i have to finish these yes i am going to put dangles and stuff i think when people saw my video they thought i was through with it i'm going to decorate this bottle cap the back and the front i was just showing you all what i was doing with them but yeah these are the new and i hope you can see it let me zoom down on it yeah but these are the new ones that I did the latest ones yeah so there you go so yeah if you all got those little cork screws or uh, cork things you can use those too and for the drizzle just use okay I gotta cover that right there use the scribbles right here and you could get it in brown they ha I have some car caramel too and you could get it in the shiny. Let's see. Is it going to focus? Okay, there you go. You could get it in the hot chocolate. Yeah. So that's what I use for, okay, the drizzle. So there you are. Aren't they cute? Yummy. Super, super. I think they're super cute. Yeah, but there are my sweet treats. And um, I guess I'm still on a sweet treat kick because... Uh, last month I actually participated in a sweet treat um, swap and a couple of the ladies actually used the drizzle I mean not the drizzle they use the this right here in their bottle caps I didn't make a bottle cap and that's what made me do the sweet treats in the bottle caps okay alright so there you are there you go oops okay there is my it's still not focusing because I have stuff behind it and it wants to see yep but there are my sweet treats and I did put a little I you type that on the typewriter I put little sweet treats on there but yeah there is your sweet treats so you all run and get it I'm gonna actually tell me what how you would make your sweet treats or if you would do the same thing I've seen people do these and use their little what's those the sequence and the seed bees and I've seen them done a whole lot of different ways yeah um, there's a whole community I guess with uh, Japanese uh, because that's where this came from originated the deco decoden and matter of fact even Mod Podge indicate on their website that they got this idea from uh, Japan manufacture and had them come up with their theirs so yeah this is fun to do and you could make a whole bunch of little goodies i'm just loving this yeah so there i go i'm gonna make a bunch of them and i am going to i'll probably put them in a giveaway some of the treats in a giveaway and i'm going to use some of the collage clay and put it in a giveaway with the shiny I mean with the scribble stuff so that you can do your little drizzle and I did see that some people do their drizzle or some people use the collage clay and color it I'm not coloring anything so that's why I didn't show you idea but there's so many videos out there you can actually watch to make this a lot of people actually are using this stuff to decorate their cell phones and stuff I wouldn't do that so yeah this is another way you scrapbookers crafters could actually use it so there you go yummy I think this is so cute but anyway I'm going to look around my room and see if I can find more stuff that I could actually put these sweet treats on and I'm going to see if I can go and find more sweet treats I mean more something that I can put more sweet treats on or get an idea of how to do more of them all right thanks for watching everyone talk to you later because I have a lot of like squares and little blocks and stuff that I could put these things on it doesn't necessarily have to be a bottle cap but because we did the sweet treat uh, swap last month a lot of people did use the bottle caps to do their sweet treats. So, yeah, I just thought that would be, uh, you know, you can use another idea to use. Okay, thanks for watching, everyone. Talk to you later. Remember, tell me why you, 
how you would decorate yours and tell me if you want to join the swap oh i found even more bottle caps where are my flat ones look where are my bottle caps i can actually do some in these right here yeah all right uh thanks for watching everyone talk to you later bye